There's the start. On the field and on the track, athletes are getting ready for the World Championships in two weeks. Yet much attention has turned from the stadium to a report by German broadcaster ARD and Britain's Sunday Times newspaper. Journalists say a whistleblower gave them a database with records from 2001 to 2012. 5,000 athletes from more than 200 countries were tested. 800 athletes had suspicious results, including gold medal winners at the Olympics and World Championships. To put it simply, the prevalence of blood doping in track and field is alarming. Two international doping experts examined the data and said it's clear there's widespread cheating. Some results were simply grotesque. In their extremity, they were quite easily the worst I've ever seen. The country singled out the most in the leaked documents, Russia, with red flags for those who won 80% of the country's medals. And audio recordings provided to the journalists appear to show some Russian athletes admitting to doping. How did you prepare for this season? A runner on the Russian national team is asked. I've taken EPO. Canadian athletes are mentioned in the documents too, with a smaller percentage attracting concern. 3% is, is a number that is, um, it's unacceptable. Well, at the end of the day, of course, we hope that it, it, uh, the truth comes out. The International Association of Athletics Federation said the data was confidential and denied any cover-up. Today, the World Anti-Doping Agency handed the investigation to a commission chaired by Canadian Dick Pound, who this week said he doubted countries could be punished. It's questionable and whether you can, you can impose a sanction based upon the, the, the data. WADA's president today agreed, saying to suggest or imply doping with respect to any athlete whose data is contained within the database is, at the very least, irresponsible and potentially libelous. The anti-doping agency wants a report by the end of the year and athletics officials say they'll cooperate. It's unclear, though, whether the results will be made public and what actions might be taken. Thomas Dagler, CBC News, Montreal.